guys, this is Karen Caballero and I'm a licensed cosmetologist and today I'm going to be sharing with you this makeup tutorial inspired by the Victoria's Secret 2015 fashion show. So I'm so excited because it is very easy and it's a look that you can wear for everyday makeup. So the look for this here was very natural glowing skin, almost a no makeup makeup look. They didn't use no contouring, very minimal highlight, no eyelashes. Um, no wing liner, um, just very, very natural. And so I'm so excited to share this with you. And all the products, I'm going to be listing them down below. And I did a lot of research and looked at tons of pictures to try to get as close as possible. And depending on the model, it might have varied a little bit on the colors or what they use. But for the most part, this is, you know, very close to what they did. And on some of them, they did do like the contouring or the lashes, things I'd say that they didn't do. But if they did, it was very, very minimal. But like I said, most of them didn't even have um, all, all that extra stuff. So that's the way I'm doing it and I'm sharing it with you. All the products listed down below. And hope you enjoy and like this video. Keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start with Maybelline um, Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And I'm going to put a little bit all over my skin to prime my skin. And this is going to um, give me a smooth surface and help my makeup last um, a lot longer. Okay. And then they have very luminous glowy skin. But my skin is so uh, oily that I don't want to use um, luminous foundation. Because it will naturally get like dewy right afterwards if I don't put it enough powder. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in W5. I really, really love this foundation. It's kind of like a department store foundation and it's a uh, drugstore, so affordable. So, uh, the angels, they wear very little foundation, but really they don't really need to. Their skin looks, you know, almost flawless already, but I need a little bit more. My skin's not like that. And <clears throat> I staple it everywhere, it's just a little bit. And then um, I'm blending it through circular motions. With this little uh, dual fiber brush by MAC. And, and underneath the eye, I'm avoiding it because I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter in there, concealer. And um, I don't want it to be too much product in there because then it would um, crease in the lines. And now I'm going to highlight my face with MAC uh, Prep and Prime in the color uh, Light Boost. And I'm only going to do it underneath the eyes because that's how they did it, most of them. And I'm getting this light color one so I can highlight, brighten the area. And I'm using the concealer because it has more coverage than foundation to really cover my under eye circles. And I'm, I hold it like this and I just let it go naturally. And it's going to form this triangle right here. So, I don't know. Like that. And then just blend that through. I'm going to use my finger a little bit to warm up the product. And then I'm going to use a uh, beauty blender. And finish um, blending it. Just pat it like that. Okay, and now we're going to um, use the powder and set it with MAC um, Mineralized in the color Light. And I know this is a lot lighter than my skin tone, but, you see, but it is very sheer, very little color. And um, I'm also only applying it in the T-zone where I get the, oil, the oiliest, you know. And um, that area is naturally highlighted, you know, brighter, um, lighter than your skin tone. And that tends to look really, really good and bright. So, got a little bit of that product, just put it in the T-zone. And then the leftover, a little bit of the eyes, and then under where we put that concealer, just a little bit. Everywhere else to be just very, very, you know, just the leftovers. The, the most in the T-zone. And then now we're going to use a blush. I'm going to be using Melba by MAC. And this is so beautiful. You know. Just a little bit. And you're going to smile. 
and then the natural apples in your cheeks and they have this very um, bright you know pink reddish um, blush because it tends to make the skin look younger and that's what they're all about young fresh looking skin so I'm really making it really pink it's a lot pinker than what I would normally wear okay now we're gonna highlight the face I'm gonna be using MAC in soft and gentle and it's so pretty I love it using the same blush brush and I'm gonna put a little bit right here and this is gonna give your skin a very pretty glow right here to make the uh, the lips look bigger just a tiny bit right here right here by the eye and then that's it okay so now I'm gonna redo my eyebrows and I'm using the next um, Tame and Frank pomade in the color brunette I'm using this flat angular brush to do my brows um, right now I bleach my brows I'm always changing the color of them but right now they're bleached and I'm gonna be putting just a bit like that and then brushing the color through and I forgot my pencil hold on okay I couldn't find my pencil that has that little brush to um, brush the part through so I'm just gonna have to work with this um, so put a little bit of color throughout the whole eyebrow just a bit So after doing that, I'm going to go back with the concealer that I, that I originally used and get a little bit in my hand and I'm going to clean up the eyebrow. As I get closer, I, I use less in this product. And then once it's like that, I get this br concealer brush and um, blend it. So now we're going to do our eyeshadow and the one I'm going to be using is the um, MAC um, palette and I'm going to be using um, this highlighter right here and then put that on the bottom of my brow and I'll list all the names on the bottom for you. It's just a, like a nude um, matte and then we're going to be using this color right here, this brown, the same brush. Pick up very little product, very little, and then on um, in the crease, ever so lightly, like light, doing that to both eyes. Okay. And now we're gonna be using uh, this pretty gold, um, bronzy olive color using my finger to pack it in there and apply this only in the lid area and then I'm using the same brush to just um, blend it just a little bit try not to go about the um, the, the lid and now to highlight the inner corners I'm going to be using this um, this one right here it's pretty nude and it has a lot of shimmer and I'm going to apply that in the inner corners and that's going to reflect light all the shimmer and reflect light just blend it up with your finger blend it up and make that like quite concentrated really gonna make a difference 
Okay, now we're going to be using um, a flat little brush. And I'm going to be using um, this bronzy um, brown shadow. It's very shimmery. And I'm going to um, put it on the lower lash. And now we're going to have this NYX pencil in pure gold. And I'm going to put it in the waterline of my eyes. And the angels, they usually uh, wear um, this, this, I mean, this waterline pretty light or nothing at all. Now we're going to finish with um, Voluments um, in the color Carbon Black Mascara. This is by MAC, I mean by MAC, by L'Oreal. And I really, really, really love this mascara. And their lashes, remember, they didn't wear false lashes. They're very thick and full. Uh, on the top and then on the bottom just slightly coated but no fake lashes so I'm gonna do this to get the mascara product on there and then on the top I'm coating the top lashes and then like that. I'm gonna do that coat and then I'm, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go back and do a second coat. So uh, while that's drying, we're gonna do the other. Oh crap! Ugh. Now I'm gonna do a second coat of mascara. I love full lashes and I'm focusing this on the on the on the root and then the left over on the tip to make them longer and now I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes um while the mascara is still a little wet Sometimes I do it before mascara, sometimes after mascara. I'm always changing my mind. And I'm going to be lining my, um, my lips with um, Black Track by MAC. It's a gel liner. And I'm going to be using very little product. And do very, very thin line. Very close to the lash line. And right towards the end, the beginning of the lid, uh, apply very little product. And now, last but not least, we're gonna be doing the lips. And most of them, they use this mauvey color, and this was pretty darn close. It's Maybelline in mauve mania, and I'm gonna be topping it off with petal rose gloss on top. And they didn't lip line their lips or anything. They just apply the product. And then I'm going to be using my finger to remove some of it. I'm going to be uh, topping it off with that gloss. And I'm going to put very, very little in the center. And then dabbing that throughout the whole lip. Then I'm gonna pat this color onto my hand a couple of times. That way it looks almost like your own lip color, you know what I mean? A little bit of gloss, not too much. And that's it. So I am done and hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And follow me on Instagram at 11 Karen Caballero. Bye.